Hey eighth graders, today's lesson is called Phases of Matter. You're learning targets for today. I can differentiate between solids, liquids, and gases, and I can identify the properties of solids, liquids, and gases. So really we're gonna focus on what defines a solid, what defines a liquid, and what defines a gas. Those are the things, or the phases or the states that we naturally see um, for all matter. Okay. All right, so very first part, you guys are going to set up your notebook for this new phase change unit. So open your OneNote and add a new section, phase change. So you guys can see the add section right here. Here's phase change. And then you guys are going to add two pages, vocab and key concept. For whatever reason today, my key concepts does not want to be loading. And then while I test that, you guys will go ahead and add these two vocab words to your vocab page. So phase is a noticeably different form or state of a substance. So again, you already know the three main phases, a solid, liquid, and gas. And this one's a big one, freedom of movement, the way molecules in a substance move around relative to each other. So if we're comparing uh, like a little group of molecules, how do they move compared to all the molecules in that group? Okay, so again, you guys should have that added into your vocab uh, or excuse me, page, phase and freedom of movement. All right. Moving on, you guys will complete your warm up for today. Uh, remember to pause this video as you guys work through, um, and that way you guys can kind of watch while you work and, and then do one section at a time. All right, so for your warm up today, you guys are gonna read the article Weird Water Events, and then you guys are gonna study this little image right here. So in the Weird Water Events article, the author uses the phrase greater freedom of movement. What do you think, uh, what do you think she, means by this. Use clues from the diagram and the text to determine what this phrase means. Write your response on the next slide. I of course don't want you guys to regurgitate the vocab that you guys just got. Okay? So please make sure you guys do this. So you guys will open up the article. Um, it's the very first one. You guys are just reading the weird water events. Okay? Uh, again, study this diagram where we have, alright, here's obviously a solid, here's what we have, a gas, and then here's a liquid. Here's kind of a little description of each of those on the molecular scale. Uh, and then short little article there, only about four paragraphs long for you. Okay, and then you guys will answer this question. Describe what you think the phase greater freedom of movement means. Again, we're focusing in on this greater freedom of movement. So it's not just defining what freedom of movement is. We're specifically looking at a greater freedom of movement. Okay, all right, so pause as you guys need, answer those questions, and then we'll move on. Okay, next part, let's get into the nitty gritty of how we can define something as a solid, liquid, or gas. So I want you to right click and open this video. It should bring you to this little video here. You guys should recognize that little guy. We've watched him a couple times. So you guys can go ahead, pause this video and watch for a second. Really pay attention to one of the main things you guys are gonna derive out of this video is attraction of molecules. So we won't really talk about that a whole lot else until we get to chapter three. So I want you guys to also be able to define a solid, a liquid, or gas based on the attraction between molecules. And this video is great about talking about that. Okay, all right. So once you guys have watched that, you guys have this next part where you guys will be defining what a solid, a liquid, and a gas is. Okay, so you guys will use two things to help you. You guys can use the video we just watched, or you guys can see here's the simulation to help you. Okay, so your simulation looks a little something like this. Okay, um, and then you guys have four different substances over here. You guys will see all three states of matter within those four different substances. Um, and then to get you guys started up here, you guys can turn on your kinetic energy toggle. Um, you can see kind of that same yellow key up here where we have our lower energy is black and our higher energy is yellow. Um, you guys can hit play, you guys can change the speed, although right now that really isn't relevant to what we're doing. Um, you guys can see with these buttons, you can guys can just take a second too to mess around with this and figure out what's happening. Okay, um, but the main thing I want you guys to do is mess around with that. Find a substance that's a solid. So hit play first, and then you guys can kind of Click through each of these um, different substances, A, B, C, and D, and figure out what you guys think is a solid, okay? And then pay attention to some of the appearances. So you guys will use your draw tool for these. You guys can just use your highlighter, it's fine, and say, all right, a solid is rigid, meaning it maintains its shape. So I would highlight that one. 
okay? Does it fill its container? If we take a chunk of ice and put it in a Tupperware container, does it fill up that whole cup and cupware container? Okay, uh, any visible shape or not? Okay, can you guys define a shape if we have a solid ice cube? Okay, does it have a shape that you can see? Uh, does it flow? So if we look at the molecules inside of that, are they flowing around? Okay, does it have a fixed volume? So we could measure the volume of an ice cube by measuring it, okay? Uh, and then taking your length times width times height, or does it take the volume of the container? So if we put it in there, does it change its volume to fit the container? Uh, it takes the shape of a container. If we put an ice cube in a container, does it change its shape to look like the container? Or does it hold its shape? I think that would probably be applicable for our solids. Um, and then does it stay at the bottom of the container? In this case, yes, it does, okay? And you guys might have some just because I circled this one for solid doesn't mean I might not use again in the case of like a liquid, okay? Um, we also know it has a fixed volume. And that should be it, okay? Uh, freedom of movement talks about how those molecules are moving. So once you guys have found something that you think is a solid, liquid, or gas, you guys can look. How do those molecules move around, okay? So do they either move in place, move around each other, or move away from each other? Okay, this one is one where you guys, once you've used one for a solid, you guys are done. So in the case of a solid, they all move in place. So if I look at substance A here, you guys will see once it forms, it's solid. Okay, if I click on one molecule and watch it, it stays in that spot, okay? It just moves back and forth in that spot. And notice that they are always moving. Okay, so even if you guys are looking at the desk or the table that you're sitting at right now, it's made of a bunch of little molecules, and those molecules are all moving around, okay? So in the case of a solid, they move in place, okay? You guys won't use move in place again for the other two. Average kinetic energy of the molecules. So if we look at this uh, versus maybe one of these, we can test and check and see kind of what the colors look like, okay? So you guys can do that as either high, medium, or low. Okay, so let's get a good variety here. So we can look at D. You guys can just kind of compare the kinetic energy of these. Okay, and you can note the temperature on the other side. They're all about 36 degrees Celsius. Okay. And so circle high, medium, or low. In the case of a solid, we are low. Okay? And then attraction of molecules. This one's going to come from the video. Okay? But with this, you guys will see that solids are a high attraction for each other. Okay? That's why they are a solid is because those molecules like being stuck next to each other. Okay? So that's what solid looks like. Obviously, you guys are going to do um the liquids and the gases but the next part you guys have to do with the solid is you need to find a solid liquid or gas on your simulation in this case a was your solid solid okay so you guys will need to take a screenshot of that and insert that into your um powerpoint presentation okay so here's my picture of my solid i'm going to use either my snipping tool if you guys are using something outside of a chromebook or if you guys are using a chromebook you guys are going to hit control shift and then that little square with the two vertical lines on the right side of it above the six number six key okay and then you guys can click and drag copy to clipboard and then paste this into your um worksheet so i would go here and say all right here's my solid there we go okay and then i can resize it okay so that's how you guys insert a picture okay so then again you'll do the exact same thing for liquid Fill out these using your draw tool, insert a picture, and same for gases, okay? Last little part, we're going to talk briefly about phase change, and then tomorrow's lesson will focus in on that phase change. Okay, so you guys will right-click this link right here. You guys will open that link up, and you guys will watch this video right here, Changes in States of Matter. You guys will get the answers for the next two slides from this video right here, okay? So let's take a look at what those look like. I guess it's just one slide. Okay, so here we have a little diagram to show us the different changes in the phase of matter. So we have our phases of matter, solid, liquid, and gases. And then we have these five arrows, and each of these five arrows represent a different phase change. 
So some of these you guys might already know. Let's take a look at your options down here. So we have melting, evaporation, condensation, freezing, and sublimation. So for instance, if we have a solid and it turns into a liquid, like for instance, an ice cube turns into liquid water, that would be melting. So I would click and drag that and say, all right, a solid turning into a liquid is melting. Okay, uh, you guys are gonna place all five of these phase changes in their correct arrows. Um, if you guys are doing like going backwards, make sure you guys do it below, okay? So I know which one it goes with. Okay, finally, complete your wrap up. If you have any questions, oops. If you have any questions, type uh, yes or no, and then type your question right here. Obviously, if it's something that's preventing you from completing this assignment, let me know. Uh, and then four, three, two, one, how do you think you did? Okay, you guys are all done for the day. Go ahead and hand this in, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.